to any five gamers today we're gonna to be watching some more competitive tournament matches that's right but not just regular competitive matches we are going to be watching the finals of ivl that's right the final matchup we're gonna watch the full set and see how it goes pretty curious to see who's gonna win honestly since this tournament's been going on for so freaking long now of course one quick thing let me grab our cinnamon rolls first and with that we have now got every last cinnamon roll that we can give to cinema roll and that means that today we actually are able to get the uh the hello kitty pet all we gotta do is use both our cinnamon rolls we get 20 clues and i think our last reward will be what was i missing uh spyglass okay so this will be spyglass and then you get a choice between um the hello kitty pet or the cinema roll pet and i'm going to be choosing the hello kitty pet for free because i think she's more iconic uh cinema roll is very cute but we're gonna go with hello kitty um so there we go yep i'm choosing hello kitty and we're not gonna play with her today but you know maybe in a future video tomorrow or something we'll see but regardless we got the hello kitty pet Still so bizarre that she's in this freaking game to me, dude. On to the first game, though. We're going to be watching Wolves versus GG. This is the finals. The, like, actual finals. Uh, Opera Singer going up against... Um, I didn't get a good look. Here we go. Yeah, going up against Mercenary, Patient, Embalmer, and Psychologist. Uh, looks like Patient is already here at the four stop. A very, very good uh, location for Patient to spawn uh, because there are beautiful spots to use his hooks here. Already looking like he might be using one soon. Let's see. Nope, gonna bait option over here. She warps back. Might have to use a hook. Yep, use a hook. Goes over there. Very nice. Very beautiful hook there. Beautiful hook from the patient. Yeah, so he's probably gonna... Uh, I'm gonna guess he could potentially uh, three cipher kite here. Um, never mind. Gets a hit. Yeah, his, uh, I guess he just couldn't get the uh, the hook off just yet. Is he gonna leave four stop? Really? I thought he's gonna stay on this loop. I mean, this uh, opera singer is, I believe, bringing blink. Uh, yeah, choose to actually leave the four stop. Maybe he's gonna... Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, just kind of kind of playing around these pallets here. Um, Blink is up very, very soon. He might go down to Blink. That's the thing. He's going to use it. Yep, going to use the hook. Oh, he, he did it. Oh, that wasn't really that good. He got stuck. He didn't even flywheel? Really? Wow, that was a fast down. He messed up. He messed up. He tried to go over it. He tried to go over the, uh, the tracks, but he didn't. And now he's here. But the mercenary is already here feeding tinnitus. Um, or wait, is that mercenary or was that... Wait, that was Mercenary, right? Hold on, I didn't get a good look. No, the Mercenary's over there. Oh, the Embalmer is here. My bad. Um, yeah, we got um, em Embalmer. Or sorry, uh, Freaking Patient is on running Ninja Reflex and Flywheel. Uh, embalmer doesn't get the rescue, but she gets a hit. So uh, poor old Patient is going to fall. Potentially could rebound one more time with the Hook or Flywheel. We'll have to see. Um, I doubt it, though. I, I, I doubt it. It is Opera, of course. Uh, but yeah, the Embalmer has used up his Tide. Um, we have a couple borrowed times, only uh, only two characters borrowed time, that of course being Psychologist and Mercenary. Um, Mercenary is probably a good pick to have borrowed time, especially since he has the delayed damage there. Like, what, what else is he going to run, huh? <laughs> Nitro Reflex Merc, Flywheel Merc, what is this, rank? <laughs> oh my. And yeah, Opera's choosing to uh, walk a little bit toward to this chair, I'm guessing so that she can be closer to the Cypher that uh, the Embalmer was working on, yeah. Yeah, the cyber progress is not looking too good. And the thing is, she still has her blink too. So even if uh, the, even if the patient gets rescued in flywheels, he's uh, he's not gonna or she can just use blink and hit him. Um, I would imagine like I don't really know what happens here, honestly. I feel like I think no. Here here comes mercenary. Uh, mercenary doesn't uh, does still have the tide, so they're gonna they're gonna burn up another twenty seconds here. Does she just hit Merc? Yeah, she's gonna hit Merc. Okay. Um, patient could potentially... Oh, goes that way. I guess, yeah, opts to go away from the... Uh... Wow. All right. Flywheel? Flywheel? Not even going to use the flywheel? Really? Why not? <laughs> You're dead. There. I mean, you could have... I don't know. Like, in my opinion, every second counts. Well, I guess it's tied. Yeah. So I guess it went to matter. You probably got hit. I'd say if you're dead, but like the 20 seconds runs out, if you use flywheel right before the 20 seconds runs out, does it like continue the flywheel or do you just die? I don't really know. Uh, Psychologist takes her hit. Is she going to get on the coaster? Nope. She's got to be careful of Blink. She's got to be really careful of Blink. They don't know what trait uh, the Opera has yet. That's the thing. They don't know. Get on coaster. Get on coaster. Yep. Off she goes. Uh, and yeah, still still hasn't used her Blink at all. But the Cyphers are looking good. This could honestly be a tie. Thanks to the double tide. And here's the thing. Embalmer is still a thing. Embalmer is a really, really good survivor that helps secure ties. Um... Thing, yeah, okay, chases Embalmer off the... Or no, I'm sorry, that's the... Uh, 
Wait, what the? Huh? When did when did the mercenary pick up a freaking uh watch? Where did he get that from? Okay, I was not. Oh, I guess it must have been from that chest. Does he not have any elbow pads? I thought he still had three elbow pads to work with. I guess he. Oh, he's just doing that to stall. Interesting. So I guess what he could do. Oh wait, no, this is a good idea. Yeah. So he, he goes to go pick up his elbow pads now, right? Could he do that? Is he? Is that what he's gonna go try and do? I don't know. No, he still he dies on his cipher. Okay. But they might have to. Oh, they might have to pop here. This is the embalmer here. Do they pop? Because it's an embalmer. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, they for, they're gonna force her. They're gonna force it to hit. Oh, the backflip though pops. Yup. Oh, I see. That was smart. That was smart. Okay, yeah. See, things. Mercy has nothing now. He just dies. He just dies. Yeah. Hold on. Wait. This might not be a tie. This might not be a tie. I thought the mercenary was gonna like go and try and get his elbow pads. There. Oh no, he does have his elbow pads. I'm stupid. Okay, I guess he did double item trick and left his elbow. Okay, so he still had his elbow pads, but didn't even try to use one. I am confused. She te she teleports to the. Oh, Psych is there. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, that was really risky. That was really really risky. Okay. Um. What happens here? No wait, this is it's over. She found you. It's over. Oh my gosh. He can cough him, but it's over. She can get there. It's freaking opera, bro. She'll be there before you even come out. It is so over. Yup. 3K. Even with the... Okay, at least I got one out, right? It, against opera, as long as you get one out, that's something, right? But still. They could have made that a tie. I feel like the, the, the freaking coffin location was just bad. I don't know. Next match, which is actually the first half. Uh, I accidentally watched the second match first, but who cares? It's like, it's gonna be Opera Singer both times and it's still the first round, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, Opera Singer, this time with Abnormal instead of Blink. This time we have Gardener, Mercenary, uh, Psychologist, and Painter. Uh, I've been seeing Painter being picked against Opera a good amount because the, the, the freaking camping Painter strat is pretty good. Obviously with Opera, you don't really need to camp too often, but you know, putting the Painter, like having him as the first chase, uh, getting him in the chair, instant rescuing him, and then just like forcing the hunter to like sit at his chair so like he, they can't like back to rescue, heal him up. It's pretty good, you know, because he doesn't have that uh, before half chair time, so he can literally sit on the chair for a long time. Now let's see here, who is that four stop? It looks, yep, it looks to be the painter. Yep, yep. Painter is pretty solid uh, to waste some time with just sitting on the chair, honestly. That's kind of like the biggest thing that he's got going for him besides the uh, the paintings here. Yep, already going to go for some warp backs. It's looking very, very similar to game two, despite this being game one. <laughs> uh, has memorized the hunter's face. Careful. Yeah, don't want to get Terra Shock. Can she warp back yet? I think in, in two seconds she can, but it doesn't matter because it's freaking opera. Uh, painting is done and... Oh! Didn't put down the painting there? Oh, puts down the painting right there. Okay. Yep. Forced to look at that. Forced to look at that. All right. Can't start working on a painting just yet. Faults the window, gets the speed, and yep, he's heading over here. Yep, this is, these are some good pallet spamming pallets here. Yep, there you go. Good, Aries starts working on the painting again. Pallet, just drop the pallet, drop the pallet. Yeah, I, I would've just dropped the pallet. I would've just dropped the pallet. I mean, the thing is like, they could've got a pallet some, but still. I feel like it's probably just safer to drop the pallet. All right, do you put a painting like right here? Yep, painting. Goes back toward that area, okay. Um, she did she break, she did break the pallet though, that's the thing. Yeah, she can backflip though. This is opera. You gotta remember. You gotta remember. Got the pallet. Yup, yup, yup. The thing is, she doesn't have blink. He just has to play around here. And he's got the speed. Doesn't drop the pallet. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, she's respecting that pallet. Holy moly. But this is like a three cipher cut. Ooh, vaults into her, but he's got the speed. Oh. She just swings through the pallet. Now he's gonna go down here though. He's gonna go down. Yup, gonna go down. But that was a good kite. That was a three cipher kite versus opera. Beautiful. Took both of his resources, but like that's what you want to do as the painter. And they can take their time for this rescue. They really can. Um, she could get aggressive and go try to abnormal a cipher here, but that was a that took a while. She is gonna get aggressive, yeah, okay. I guess I guess the thing is like you can backflip back over there. Um yeah, I can just abnormal. Yeah, abnormal. Get rid of that cipher progress. Okay, so technically it wasn't a three cipher kite any longer. It was now just a simple uh two ciphers <laughs> the thing is that also wasted tide and that's the first painter's rescue that's the thing that the, she's kind of like counterplaying the painter chair time by getting aggressive here and she can go all the way back because it's freaking opera um hasn't got a hit here there she goes yep gets the hit gets the hit so the, the abnormal is coming to play but 
Every single Cypher is now being worked on. She is indeed getting Cypher Rush. The Cypher Rush meta is here, dude. It is here. It's the only way to beat the Opera, bro. And now, if they really want to, they can just take their time with this rescue. They don't have to rescue for quite a while. Uh, Painter's probably got Snooze on his Persona web so that he can just chill on that freaking chair. And the Mercenary is here. And, oh, they just backflip. Just backflip, because the, the thing is, the thing that's so worrying about Painter in his chair time, right? The thing that actually makes him kind of okay is if you just decide to leave, yes, the Painter will be on his last chair and they'll rescue early, but you risk him escaping and healing back up. But at the same time, when you're Opera Singer, I don't really know if it matters that much. Um, but they're buying a lot of time here thanks to the Painter. The Gardener has the bubble here to work with. Um, gets the free rescue, and yep. Yeah gonna go down to tide so yeah the, the painter is here to just die to tide there are no harassers so it's not like they can extend this at all yeah uh i guess you won't even maybe get like an abnormal here uh gets another hit for full presence i think i thought she was already at full presence uh eh, no okay no she wasn't she wasn't all right but yeah, everybody else is healthy here everybody else is healthy uh speaking of health the cyphers are looking really really good too uh they're actually duo decoding a cypher right now which is interesting i'm not really sure what that's all about um, the Garner is going to go back to that Cypher. I don't know why they're not working on their last Cypher. Hmm, I guess they're kind of just rotating, hiding it out. I guess Garner can go to her Cypher. I think Garner Cypher is at 50. I think that's the one at 50%. Um, we'll see in just a second here. Still hasn't found anybody. Oh, Garner, Garner decides to pick up an item instead, actually. What does the Garner get, though? That's the question. A syringe rip. <laughs> oh, if she got like a watch or a football or like an elbow pad, that would have been much better. The syringe is just, yeah, kind of mid. Uh, do imagine, you know, it'd be like a stupid, like insane buff. Oh, the bubble though, the bubble, the bubble. Okay, can she make it to the coaster? No, she can't. She cannot make it to that coaster. Nope. She hits, uh, does not hit the bubble. Wow, just swinging through these pallets. Sheesh. Yeah. See, see. Yep, yep. So they they picked up on her habit of just walking through the pallets. Made her respect it, and then she just didn't do it again. <laughs> She just kept swinging through pallets, dude. She disrespected the pallet like so many different times. Psychologist is here. Mercenary is the one decoding. You'll love to see it do the decoding merc. Born to rescue, forced to decode. <laughs> and is she going to... She's going to him? No. No way. No, you stay here. You stay... Oh, she's trying to find the psychologist. Okay, I see. Yeah, trying to find... Oh, there she is. She has crows? Oh my gosh, she has crows. What the heck? She actually has crows. Well, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's the hiding strategy, dude. Uh, and the cypher is now primed. Alrighty. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> trying to get the body block. Uh, gets the body block with the stress. Do they just pop? Why aren't they pop? Why didn't they pop? Oh, hits the bubble, now they pop? Oh, I see, they wanted to get, oh, I see. Oh, I see what's happening, oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Get on, get on. Oh, no, Gardner. I know what they want. Okay, I know what they wanted to do there. I know what they wanted to do. They wanted Gardner to go, and then Psychologist was at second stop so that she would jump on as well. Oh, no, but Gardner got hit because it's Opera. She's too fast. Against almost every other hunter, that, pro that strategy probably would have worked. And she could teleport to the gate. Oh, no. But Psychologist is still in the area. She can get the backdoor rescue. Mercer, use your elbow pad now. He's got to use an elbow pad. He's not using his elbow pad. What? Bro. Oh wait, he didn't have any elbow pads, what? I thought he had two elbow pads left. Uh. Okay, why? I don't, I don't, okay, why would you work on the gate and not just like run to the corner? If you ran to the corner, you had to make her walk la or la walk longer. And knowing Opera, she might be able to get there in time. You never know. You never know. Uh, either way, to tie this round, they do have to get, uh, they do have to get a 3K. They might be able to get it, but like, I don't know. I, this is looking more like a tied game. Did Psychologist go back for the Mercenary? Maybe that's what... Okay, maybe that's where the Mercenary was at the gate. Yeah, Psychologist working, make, making your way to the Mercenary. He has a long chair time. They're relying on this Gardener, dude. They're relying on this Gardener for the kite. She's in a decent kiting area. Oh, but the bubble's gonna go away. It's she's gonna go down right here. Yup. Teleport is back up in 28 seconds. Can they make this? I don't know. I really don't know. Because she can teleport in 20 seconds. It takes around 20 seconds for the gate to open. And... It's going to be close, dude. It's going to be really close. It's going to be so freaking close. Uh, Can they do it? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, she can teleport. 
They can't make it. They can't make it. No. Wait, but it's mercenary. No way. Oh, wait. Detention ran out. Oh. Oh. I didn't know the detention ran out. I'm stupid. Oh, my gosh. That was free. Yeah, I just went back and checked. Her detention ran out like three seconds before she teleported. So if her detention lasted another 10 seconds, that, that, was, a, that was a 3K. It, 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 the detention just barely ran out in time. That was crazy, dude. Next match in round two, we've got Nightwatch with Detention Trump card Blink going up against Coordinator Psychologist Gravekeeper and Melly. You'll love to see Melly, especially in the finals, dude. Melly being played in the finals, you'll love to see it. Uh, I do believe, hold on, I have to take a look at the builds here. Uh, everybody is indeed running Borrowed Time. Gravekeeper obviously has Tide Turner. Uh, Melly has got Knee Jerk Reflex. Corner has Flywheel. And Psychologist also has Knee Jerk Reflex. So we'll have to see. This is like a pretty standard setup game. Psychologist is going to be taking the first kite here. Let's see what she can do. What can you do here, Ada? Here comes a slow end. Yep, here comes a free hit. Here comes a free hit. Oh, but the beast. I couldn't even see them. Oh my gosh, Melly. I didn't even notice the bees. <laughs> I was too busy looking at psychologists. All right, Melly B support. You'll love to see it. You know what's crazy? I see a lot of like, you know, I, I, don't, I never do this in rank because I, you know, it, it basically requires that your team has good like game sets. Like, it, it basically requires that you know you're like you have a team that knows what they're doing. Where like in rank, as a solo ranker, I would never do that for my teammates. Like to have just bees extend kite. Uh, so like, cause the thing is like, the bees are so good early game because all you're doing with the bees is just not giving the hunter presence at all. Yep, there, okay, we see bees again, I think. Did I see bees? I think I, I thought I saw bees. Um, no, I don't think I see bees anymore. But yeah, the thing is, that's that's the first hit, though. That's th three more hits. Three more hits that this Nightwatch needs. And that's the thing. Melly, yep. Yep, but yeah, see, that's the... That's, oh, okay, I thought for a second he was going to bait some false swings. That's the thing you can do is Melly's bees. You can bait false swings, but gets a second hit here. And Melly's bees are shoving him back a little bit. That's what you like to see. But he can dash right through him, dude. Yep. <laughs> Nightwatch versus Melly's bees aren't exactly the craziest thing. Um, but yeah, Melly's doing a great job of supporting. You love to see it. And yeah, she's going to go down. That was some really good wind. I actually didn't know the wind affected over that. I'm going to have to steal that. I actually didn't know about that. Um, I know, I guess it does like go through walls, but I didn't really think about that one, uh, that little thing specifically. Uh, now I can clean up these pallets. These are two really, really good pallets. And they're both being gone. Yeah, get that wind back. Boop. Break that next pallet. And he still has blink too still has blink gravekeeper's gonna make his way in here got the shovel buying some time here boop and actually yeah honestly guys honestly i think i think gravekeeper should have the speed of uh the speed of like he, he should get a speed boost after his shovel is hit is that just me i don't know maybe he doesn't all right melee still has about 35 percent mm, of her bees left are we gonna see some bee support nope okay she summoned her bees and immediately called them back that was funny uh but yeah the tide turner and gonna pull her back a little bit. Yeah, just she just she's dying away from all the ciphers. That, that's good. Dies over here, away from all the ciphers. Gravekeeper's already taken a hit. Uh, he's kind of close actually. Um, that's a bit risky. Uh, Coiner is probably gonna come in for the rescue next. What are we doing? I guess he, I guess they're just buying some time here. It is the strong wind, which I don't know if was necessary. Are we gonna see gun? Nope, not gonna. Oh no, nope, not gonna see gun yet. We might see. Oh, there's the gun. There's the gun. Yep. We're going to see the gun now. And now they just body block support for the rest of the game. Yup. Yup. Uh, coordinator actually did take a hit, though. Oh, he has blink. He has blink. He has blink. He has blink. It's over. She's dead. What? Huh? Oh. Okay, there's the blink. Now she's dead. Oh, Melly was too late. Melly was too late. Nope. Too late. This is, uh, this is actually looking good now. Because now, boom. Psychologist is dead. And he can go back toward the... Not gonna go back to the coordinator? Oh, gonna opt to chase off the cypher. Okay. That makes sense. That does indeed make sense. Uh, he did swap to teleport, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, I just reduced that cooldown like immediately, dude. Cyphers have already been dropped. Yeah, he's gotta have to he's gotta break these pallets, or else the grave people just gonna keep going under them. Yeah, you have to break these pallets. That's the good thing about grave people, you can drop pallets early and just kinda hide under them, forcing the hunter to break the pallets. Alright. Uh, they've started up a new cypher. Yup. Will the gravekeeper get out of the shovel? Save that shovel? Yeah, he's still got... Okay, he's still got like 50% of his shovel left. But, Nightwatch knows this. Nightwatch knows he's probably got out of the shovel. It can go back for him. Uh, do you see him? 
Oh, you found him. He should be able to... Uh, hold on now. Oh, with the pallet. With the pallet. Yeah, he can do it. Yeah, with the pallet, he should be able to... Shovel? Go shovel now? Oh, wait, he's not... Okay, never mind. He has a, not as much shovel as I thought. All right, yeah. F uh, gets, the, gets the block there with the shovel, but he's got nothing left to work with. Just this area, and he's going to go down here. Nightwatch has got wind. Strong wind. Ooh, barely, oh, barely avoids it, but Windwalk, you're dead, bro. Tram is not here yet. This is looking good. This is looking really, really good for the hunter. Hold on now. Melly is here. Um, Just going to instant rescue? Yeah, I guess. Crawling is interesting. <laughs> All right. Don't get Terror Shock, Melly. Night Watch's attack is decently fast. Body block, body block, body block, body block, body block. Oh, gets the body block. The tram is here. Do they take the tram and pop? No? Okay. Uh. Oh, oh. House on pop. Pop. They're not popping? Really? Now they pop. Okay. I was gonna say. Huh. I don't know why they didn't pop after the pallet's done. That was interesting. And he's dead. I'm confused. Why didn't they just pop after the pallet's done? If they popped after the pallet's done. All, all, all they had to do was... Oh, no. This might be a 3K. It's going to be close. It all depends on what which one he teleports to. Which one does he teleport to? He teleports that one. Can they make it out? Wait, she has flywheels. She has flywheel. Flywheel, flywheel. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful counterplay. That was beautiful counterplay. In case he swung early, she flywheeled. And then the second she saw the wind, she ran in the door and immediately went to the left so that the door opening speed, because the door wasn't fully open yet, the door blocked. Wow, the door blocked the wind for her. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. That was that was a tie by the skin of their teeth, dude. Just barely a tie. Wow. On to the next match. We've got the Will Brothers. <laughs> Go with the uh, confined space detention and blink. Going up against coordinator, mercenary, patient, and lawyer. A lot of coordinators uh, coming out. You know, I, I have a somewhat low opinion of this character, but. It's fun to see her come out. I think the flare gun is very, very funny. And having the lawyer is going to be pretty funny as well. But he will not, unfortunately, get the chance to run in circles. Going to have this window to play around with, though. This is a beautiful window to counter uh, the Will Brothers. Amelie uh, hops out a wheel for him, actually. Interesting. Um, yeah, the lawyer can just chill here. He knows where you are all the time. Leaving this area? Really? What? Why did you leave this area? I mean, I guess he can play around with this window. But, um... I don't really know what the game plan is here. I guess he, I guess there's a good area to kite though, the Will Brothers uh, as well. I mean, you got this window. Doesn't vault the, wow, okay, hold on. The mind games are coming out. Oh, he's gonna get a hit here. Yup, that's two, that's two. He's gotta land this trap. Get the trap, he's dead. Oh my gosh, that's such an early down. That's such an early down. Oh my gosh, oh, the go why? But why? Why would you use the gun then? He didn't even pick him up. I'm sorry? That's such a waste. That's so... I mean, I guess... Because the thing is, like, some people like using the gun early just in case they have excitement. Was that just to see if he had excitement or not? What's the point? I don't understand. And they only have one tide turner. They've got three flywheels, so it looks like they were actually expecting to see the breaking wheel. Still, though, that was not a great kite. And then a really, really odd use of the flare gun. Can they farm the lawyer? Nope. Gets a hit on the, uh, gets on the patient. They've been doing the, all these survivors have been getting really, really good body blocks. Beautiful body blocks. But this, the lawyer doesn't have much to work at. Blink downs, yup. Blink downs the lawyer. Hold on. I, this is not looking like a tie. Like, the only, they have to keep Cypher rushing. The thing is, once the lawyer goes down, this becomes easier and easier for the Will Brothers to start snowballing. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see Mercenary hopefully come in here. But he's got, uh, he, he, he has been exposed. He has wanted order on him. So they know where he is. You can't really play around. Yep, use the elbow pad, get some distance. But, gonna get a couple of hits here. Oh, kind of playing around. Buying some time here. Throws out the trap. It's the mercenary, and there's the tide. Where's the lawyer gonna go? There's like, I guess he's got one window right here to work with. The window is like the best thing to use against the Will Brothers, but 
Um, th that's still not too much. Uh, he's got extended spikes, and he's a full presence. He's dead. He's dead. Snap, and he's dead. Boop! Down he goes. Not a single side for Dom, but most of them are pretty far along, which is good. But they have to finish a whole other cipher. They've lost one person now. This is not looking good. No, knowing knowing the power of this character, dude, this is not looking good. Gets a hit. Get out of wheel form. Is it enough to hit a get out a second one in? Nope. Okay. Uh. Let's see here. Gets hit by the trap. Oh my gosh. This is bad, dude. This is bad for the survivors. The breaking wheel is cooking, dude. He is cooking right now. Flywheel's almost back up on the patient. Still has three hooks to work with, but like, I guess the thing is, like, being so close to the lawyer just sucked. And I, I just don't understand why the lawyer left the area. I feel like you just play in this one specific area against uh, against breaking wheel because you got the this broken window to work with. You can just constantly spam vaulting. Lawyer can get buffs on the vaulting too. I mean, he only gets one vaulting buff per window, but still. Use the flywheel. Gets hit by the trap though. Nope. Gets hit by that trap. Coordinator goes down to another hit. Trap. Slows her down. Boom. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I, th I thought she had two spikes in her. I'm stupid. Only one spike. Um, This is still looking really bad. He's, now he's gonna still, he's, yeah, he's not gonna chase. He's gonna go for Cypher Control. Every, everybody's basically dead in a basic hit. Yeah, they're actually all done in a basic hit. And if they can get, you can get two spikes on the mercenary, which he cannot do here. I guess he's trying to get the traps. Uh, and I think I think he used the elbow pad so he wouldn't get the uh, the full presence uh, spike. Yeah, we, we're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of switching forms here. Lots of switching forms. Gets the uh, the extended spikes. Oh, hits the patient and flywheels it though. Flywheels it nice, but gets the drop down hit. Yo, he couldn't even get the he couldn't even get the the funny off in time and basement too. Uh oh. Uh oh. This isn't good. I mean, they've got almost all their ciphers done. They're almost all primed, but they've still got to walk all the way to the other one. They've been spreading it out really well. This is still I I don't know, man. This 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 I guess this could be a tie, but they're going to have to play really well here. Oh, yeah. Get get does, does use up the last mercenary elbow pad. Yup, dodge that, dodge that. He's gonna go down here though. They have to get the rescue before they can pop. So he's gonna be—he's gonna be able to, yep, hit mercenary down. And oh, they just pop. Wait, what? They just—they didn't even rescue. Wait, the last cipher was the one right there. Oh my gosh, no way. No way that was the last one. I'm surprised. And his thing. He, oh, he snaps. He snaps this to die on the mercenary. Yep. Okay. Do you slug mercenary? You just slug, right? Slug, slug, slug. You're not gonna—you're in a chair. You're gonna take the tie. Did he just accept the tie? He just accepted the tie. It's mercenary. He heals so slowly. He's been hit so many times. No. You can't make it. You can't make that in time. This should be a tie. Oh, no. The door is going to be open. He see oh, I guess he sees where patient is. It all depends on if he can get this patient down. He might be able to. No, he has no flywheel. He's got he's to gotta wait for his flywheel. Nope. I, I don't I don't see what I don't see wait he didn't get a second thing he used the hook wait they're getting the rescue they're getting the rescue no way they got the rescue patient hook is not ready yet he has no fly flywheel he didn't use flywheel he didn't use flywheel can they make it out can it slug, slug 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 yeah you have to go for, go for him now go for him now that's the only chance you got that's the only chance you got go 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 Corner, can you be, is Corner gonna be forced out? Nah, she can't be forced out. She has decoy or anything, but that's it. Mercenary's here. He's hiding. Ah! What do you do? Do you take tram? Do you take tram? Can you even take tram? Oh my gosh. Patient still has self-heal too. He's gonna be able to self-heal. Mercenary goes down. This should still be a tie. Yo, you got it. The, he's gonna force Corner out. He's slugging, he's slugging. But Patient, Patient is here. Dude, what, what happens here? He can hook. He has fly one hook. He makes it. He makes it 100% of the time. Yeah, he has He has hook. Hook. He messed up the hook. He messes up the hook. What? Mammoth patient. But the flywheel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. But the, can you have body blocking? 
What? The heck? What is this game? What the heck? How did they manage that? How? Oh my gosh. What? That was a beautiful game. Oh my gosh. These are this is finals for a reason, guys. This is finals for a reason. That was beautiful, dude. For the next match, we've got Nightwatch here. Once again, a detention trump card blink, standard set up. Going up against the Nort, Acrobat, First Officer, and the Lawyer. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty, it's round three time. The Lawyer is not, in fact, running in circles. How unfortunate. <laughs> but, you know, obviously opens up the map right away to start getting his, uh, his buffs there. So we've got... Uh, We've got Tide on first off, so that's the only one with Tide. Lawyer has, uh, everybody's got borrowed time as well. Flywheel on Prospector, and the other two are running uh, Knee Jerk Reflex. Alrighty. Well, hasn't found a target just yet because the Lawyer is probably one of the best transition characters in the game, considering he's got the Hunter's location pretty much all the time. And that's what they're doing. They're just transitioning right now. They're just early transitioning, getting away from the Hunter as much as possible. Already up in the two-story area is where the Acrobat is. Yeah, gonna force him out of the two-story area. Oh, he's going up, he's going down, he's going up, he's going down. He's got the bomb ready. Yup, he's got the bomb ready. Oh, already sets up the bomb. Wow, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, he knows he's coming around. The bomb is still there, so you're going to have to walk through it. Yup, you're slow now. That was a beautiful bomb, dude. The sticky bomb there, that was beautiful. Gets the wind walk, gets a slow wind, but another bomb is ready. Boop, fire bomb. Um, yo, be careful, bro. Okay, I guess he thought he was going to... Uh, that was an interesting spot to drop a bomb. Does he get firebombed here? He doesn't. He avoids it. Wait, hold on. Yo, he's used up all his bombs. Every single one. That fast. Wow, okay. He has blink. He, down, he goes down to blink here. Yeah, just blink. Doesn't blink? There's the blink. Yup. There's the blink. Doesn't have flywheel. That's it. Uh, I don't think he was able to get a red bomb in time. Yeah, I don't think he was able, not able to get a firebomb in time. Uh, then with the Acrobat is you can get three uh, extra bombs by doing different things. By kiting for a certain amount of time, I don't know how long it is. I want to say it's like around 40, 50, 60 seconds. If you kite for that long, you get another fire bomb. If you decode like 120% or something, you get like another uh, white bomb. And then you get another uh, um, freaking sticky bomb by rescuing. I forget. I forget which ones you get um, by decoding and freaking rescuing. But I know the fire bomb is the, the kiting one. Uh, so first officer doesn't he get the rescue? We see freaking Arsene popping out, I think. <laughs> or was that uh or was that freaking um a catch Whoa, hold on, yo, 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 prospector. Prospector with the harassment. Holy moly, dude. Okay. Yeah, beautiful flywheel there. And yep, gonna be continuing to chase the acrobat. Three ciphers are done. He's getting cipher rush right now. Oh! Gets the hit, yep. Still doesn't have another firebomb yet. Still does not have another firebomb. Prospector's got one magnet. Let's see. Lawyer is... The thing is, Lawyer's been decoding this whole time, too. So he's probably got maximum decoding buff. So the cypher rushing is just happening right now, dude. This is going to be a four-person endgame. Um, the Acrobat still has, like... Uh, he's he's going to have his knee-jerk reflex ready. The thing is, he just doesn't have a bomb. He does not have a bomb. Gets a hit on the Prospector, so forces the earlier rescue. All right, let's see. Oh, it, oh, just down to the Prospector. Yeah, he just said, shut up, stop harassing. The wind? Nope. Yeah, the wind counter play is too good, bro. He does indeed have the firebomb now, but he's going to save it for endgame. Definitely wants to save it for endgame. Can you vault here? Vault, pop. There you go. Yup. Vaults, then pops. Whoa, processor already sets up the magnet? Uh, does indeed get magneted, but it doesn't really matter that much. All right, yeah, Joker and Akechi, dude. They're supporting each other. You love to see it, dude. Persona 5 Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Again, Acrobat doesn't know, has no longer, uh, no longer has any of his resources. No knee jerk reflex, no fire bomb, just complete rock hiding. Um, hello. Okay. I guess he was forcing him to like be on the other side of the pod. This is a three person escape, though. This is a three person escape. Yep. They're gonna abandon Joker, abandon him in Sai's palace. <laughs> That way he can put together the master plan or whatever. I, I forget, bro. It's been a minute since I played Persona 5. Anyway, that was a beautiful game. Beautiful kite. Good work from the survivors. For the next game, we're going to see Nightwatch once again. This time running Insolence instead of Trump Card. That way he can get that fast one as quickly as possible. Going up against Antiquarian Female Dancer Wildling. 
and Psychologist. Everybody on the team is indeed running Borrowed Time. Wildling has Tide Turner, and um, Psychologist has Nidra Reflex, while the other two are running Flywheel while Antiquarian is completely staying still. What? Why is she standing still? <laughs> All right, I guess it. I guess it just took her a second to figure out what she was doing. Uh, I always love watching Antiquarian versus Nightwatch. It, it feels like such an iconic tournament matchup, dude. There's like a whole animation about Antiquarian versus Nightwatch as well. It's it's honestly one of my favorite matchups to see because it's just like, you know, these two top tiers just scrapping it out, dude. It's it's really cool. Uh, Fema Dancer taking the first uh, chase here. Already has the uh, boxes set up. Whenever Fema Dancer drops down from a two-story area, she actually gets a speed boost here. So this is a really good uh, area for the toy toy merchant. No, Fema Dancer. Yep, gets a slow box trap set up. Nightwatch kind of slow right now, but. As I'm saying that, it's gonna get a hit set. I oh, just drop, just drop on here. Yup, drops a slow box here, and she can now just loop this area. She does take a hit, has the flywheel, but can loop this area. Yup, this is a really good area for the toy merchant. And Nightwatch is not even opting to break the loop. The loop is so well set up, dude. He's gonna have to like break some pallets and whatnot if he really wants to do this. He does have blink, blink, yup, blinks. And watch for the flywheel, flywheel, flywheel. Flywheel? Yeah, there we go. There's the flywheel. There is the flywheel. Spins out of the way. He's got this pallet to work with now. Be careful, be careful. Drops the pallet. Can walk around now. Oh, here comes the antiquarian for the support. Yup, yup. I love the dude. It's so funny seeing them. Look at them. <laughs> They're both going back and forth, back and forth. Good thing what the night watch is doing there is. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful dodge of the wind there from the female dancer. But you can't go back the way. There's the antiquarian there. Yup, yup. Oh, but she gets the disarm. That's all she's got, though. She's got no more disarms. One Cypher is now done. The Cypher rushing is happening right now. Another beautiful dodge, but she's going to go down here. Yup, going to go down. But Antiquarian is here. You can't just pick up for free. She's probably going to swing right through this. Wow, what? That's an early pallet drop. Okay. Very early pallet drop. And here's... Okay, it breaks the slow box. All right, that's that's probably one of the biggest, most annoying slow boxes. Gone. Nice, nice. Drops the pallet at the perfect time. Does she flip? Yeah, flips over and then stun. Nope. Yeah, you don't have that flip anymore. She's just buying as much time. Flywheels the charge attack. Nice. She's very low on the flute. She's got two disarms left. Gets hit on the Antiquarian. And she's gone, dude. She is gone. But the thing is... Thing is... This is the first chair. This is the first chair. And the Cyberfrog is looking very, very good. We're going to see the Wild Link come on in here. And he's assigned to leave the chair, actually. Maybe try and go chase the Antiquarian. Nope. Still got the chair, gonna break this pallet. Gonna break this pallet. Yeah, it's, it's a little too risky to go and break the two slow boxes. It's just really bad for the survivors that both those slow boxes, or sorry, bad for the hunter that both those slow boxes are still there. We've got we've got the freaking wildly coming on in. Here's the tide, gonna get on the pig. Yep, gets on Pumba just to get out of there or to maybe harass. Nope, gets the tide turner. Are we gonna see a harassment from? No, we're not gonna see any harassment. Okay, yep, she is just gonna go down, gonna go away from all the ciphers, away from all her boxes as well, which is interesting. Um, Gonna get sucked back. He's already at full presence, so there's no point in hitting. And there you go. Use the wind walk for a little bit of extra speed. That's that's the that's the second chair for the female dancer. And Psychologist is transitioning on in here. Both ciphers are being worked on. She has three hits that she can take. Tinnitus is being mass but finds out the Psychologist. And she's probably gonna, if this wasn't Psychologist, dude, they'd probably get the uh, the rescue completely stopped. But she can take two, uh, two extra hits before falling down. Yep, good work there, gonna take a hit. Ooh, nice pallet stun. Beautiful pallet stun. And now she can body block and still... Ooh, but the blink. Yeah, gets hit through the blink, though. But the wildling is here. He's here. He's here. He has to get... Oh. He's here. He's here. Oh. All right. They can't pop yet. All right. Now you pop. Now you pop. There you go. Transition back toward those slow boxes. There you go. Four-person endgame. All right. She's got she's got spin. She's got tied. Or tied. Freaking uh flywheel. And she can go for the drop down in the two-story area if she really wanted to. Yep. Spin. Oh my gosh, the female dance is crazy, dude. Broken on this map, broken on this map, dude. Flywheel, flywheel. Doesn't, why aren't they using flywheel? Just use the flywheel. What? Just use the flywheel. It would have extended the kite just by a little. I guess he doesn't have teleport though. This is still a three person escape. A three person escape, that's right. And yeah, it's because he's got, he had insolence instead. It's because he had freaking insolence. Yeah, it's, they're, they're making it out 100%. If he, if he had trump card and teleport, this was a tie. This was 100% a tie. Well, they did indeed tie that round. Uh, so now we're on to the game four. We've got Wax Artist with Detention, Insolence, and Teleport going up against the Prospector, uh, Psychologist, Mercenary, and Seer. Seer is interesting to see for sure. 
Uh, Wax Artist is a scary hunter, though. I'm very curious to see how Wax Artist is going to do uh, on this map, because Wax Artist, I always talk about how consistent this hunter is. Literally a point-and-click adventure character. Whenever you see somebody, you just point the wax at them, and they lose. Uh, whenever I go up against this character as well, it's like always a 4K. This character is absolutely insane. Um, it really, I feel like he really loses to like support from teammates, and in solo rank, you don't really get that too often. So, uh, yeah. I mean, they're in a good area here, sort of. You can, uh, I guess, and maybe not so much anymore. I thought he was going to kind of play around like this specific area here, but she's going to get waxed off here soon. But, of course, it is Psychologist, so she can take a... Oh. What? That wasn't Terror Shock? Okay, I thought... All right, I'm not really sure. I guess, like, you want to get a basic hit, and then... Yeah, you don't... Okay, so what I've seen Wax Artists do, usually what you want to do is you want to scare the survivor... Okay. Interesting choice. Um, not going to just chase the Psychologist, the one who's supposed to be easier. Well, here we go. Boop. No Owl. Actually, can you activate Owl while you're stuck in Wax? I don't know. So your players, can you do that? I'm, I'm very curious to know. Uh, doesn't Does not, in fact, use the Owl, though, even if he could. But yeah, again, what, what Axe Artist likes to do sometimes is they like to get like the basic hit and then go for Wax afterwards. Um, we gotta be, we gotta, we're, gonna, we're gonna see, oh, Wax Bomb, so he can't go out that way, yup. Not, not in range for the drop down hit. Does he just Owl and Vault? Not even gonna Vault? Really? Now you Vault, okay. Um, but the, yeah, he's just gonna go down. Just gonna go down here. Doesn't have anything to work with. He's got one pallet. Oh, I thought he was gonna go down like 100%. All right, well, I guess he, uh, I guess he goes down there. This has been a good kite so far though. You know, he got one hit on the psychologist, made, made her get rid of that stress. That way he could just get the, uh, the wax bomb presence. But now it's in basement. <sighs> no owl to work with either. We're gonna see the mercenary come on in here, but still, this is, uh, this could be interesting. The cyber progress is looking really good, though. It's looking really, really good. And mercenary can get out of the, the dungeon pretty easily, but he's gonna have to avoid, uh, gonna, oh, gonna come up through there. Oh, yeah, oh, drops down into the wax. <laughs> gonna have to avoid the drop down here. Oh, we're just not gonna drop down at all. Um, oh, oh, okay, wait, oh, hot wax, hot wax, no. Okay, they're just getting hits. I see. Well, all right then. Uh, well, now he's got hot wax. Is he gonna go after the mercenary? Is he gonna use hot wax? No? What? I'm confused. He's trapped, he didn't get out. He, he, messed, he messed up his elbow pad. Um, hot wax? Boop! Yeah, there's the hot wax. Oh uh, yeah, so he just immediately get him down, smart. But now you're on the mercenary and the seer's, I guess the seer is like right up there. I'm surprised the seer didn't get farther away. What the heck? He's still kind of close by. He is still kind of... Oh, wait, no. He's... I see where he is. Okay, okay. He, he dropped down over there. He dropped down over there. So when they have the chair, they have to, you know, take forever, walk on in there. Prospector's coming on in. The last cypher's almost ready. Oh, finds out the prospector. Hot wax is almost recharged. Are we going to see some hot wax? Nope. All right. Come on. This... You oh, yeah. Good, good work of that drop down hit there. Mercenary is about to be... Yeah, they're not going to save before half 100%. The stun. No hot wax. Okay. I'm surprised he's not just spamming hot wax. Whenever I'm up against this character, he just spams hot wax, bro. Like, all the time. Uh, we're going to see the seer right here? Is he just farming? He's just farming owls, maybe? Uh, that's a choice. That is indeed a choice. I guess the prospector and the seer here. Okay, so one person falls, I guess. But hot wax is here. Oh, no. Hot wax. Hot wax. Hot wax. They just pop. But the owl, so they can get the rescue. What? But they're just, they're just, just hit, just hit. They're gonna die. Just hit. What? What? Just hit. Why didn't you just hit? I mean, like, one was gonna get out anyway. I know you want to get with, get them down with hot wax, but still, not when there's two of them making body block each other. You just hit there, right? That's what I would think. All right. Well, this might. Oh, he's got teleport. He's got to be careful though. All right, he's gonna check this gate. He's gonna check this gate. Nobody's there. Teleport. Teleport. You have to teleport now. It's over. It's over. It's over. Why is he walking toward the gate? You teleport every time. Force psych out. Force psych out. Yup. Gate waiting. Oh my gosh. This is. All right. They have to hide and kite out detention. Picking up tinnitus. Yep. Knows that mercenary is in this area. Sees the mercenary. Boop. Get that wax bomb. Are we gonna see hot wax? You can down him with hot wax. 
Come on. Let's see. Is it going to be another tie? Okay, here's, yeah, here's Hot Wax. Wax Bomb. And... Yo, he's playing around here really, really well. They're playing around here really, 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 really well, dude. And Hot Wax, Hot Wax. Boop, there's Hot Wax. But the dungeon! He can crawl, he can crawl, he can totally crawl, he can totally make it! Oh my gosh! He made that! Cause it's mercenary! I can't believe it. They actually made that. What are these games, dude? What are these games? Oh baby, here we go. Nyad versus Antiquarian Charles uh, Wildling and Female Dancer. Potentially the final match of the tournament. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. Now, here's the thing. As much as I um, like complaining about Nyad, at top level, this is a tie hunter. And that's the thing. If they can get a tie, like as long as they, as long as it's not a three escape for wolves, they win. Yep, already gonna be chasing the aeroplaneness. Starts moving out of the way right away. Got the female dancer boxes set up already. Yeah, they, they, they need this three escape, dude. And the thing is, it's really tough against Nyad because she is a really good draw hunter. I mean, if they really, really wanted to be super turbo lane, they could have played Bon Bon, but they also might have banned Bon Bon. I don't know. Yup, here we go. More Charles Gaming, bro. More Charles Gaming. He's used up two of his jetpacks. Goes back toward the slow boxes. Nine also is running Insolence so she can get the uh, get the dash. She really wants that dash. Gonna water off this area. Yeah, that's the thing. You can you have the like the the uh, tight kiting from the slow boxes, but she can water off the slow boxes. So then there's no point to them. And Blink is almost up. Can you water him off? No, you can't water him off, but he goes up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he wanted distance, bro. All right, no, now. Oh, gets the first hit. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's the thing. Charles can only go up in the air a single time per match. He uses up all of his jetpacks. He's going to go down. Water's off this area. Yep, he's going to go down, bro. Yep. He's going to go down. He's just going to go down to water. Yup. Just going to go down to water. Uh-oh, this isn't good. They lost their rescuer. That's not good. And Charles does not have an extended chair time. In fact, he has a 2% decoding buff. <laughs> For some reason. 2%. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the Wildling also has Tide. I'm, I'm dumb. All right, so two, two Tide turners on this team. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, they really want to waste some time here. They, they probably really wanted either Female Dancer or Antiquarian to take the first kite. Probably the dancer. Oh, hits the wild. But oh my gosh, wildling almost got watered off. That was close, dude. That was close. All right, gonna be ch yeah. There, look at the support, dude. Look at the support. They do not want Charles to fall right now, bro. Yeah, push that antiquarian. Push, push that fish back. Yeah, skewer that fish, antiquarian. You got this. You got this. Yeah, Charles has nothing, bro. He has nothing. Actually, has nothing. Be careful. Yeah, there's a disarm one. But every disarm doesn't last that long. Let's answer quite. Yeah, there's another one. Push him, push him back even more. Push that fish back even more. He's gonna water off this whole area. Oh. No. Okay. Let's see. Another hit. Not really that good. Antiquarian is really jank to use sometimes. Gets a hit. No. Nope. Gets the hit. Gets the hit onto the freaking. Uh... Oh. But let's see. She has no stuns. Oh, she does. She has one stun. She has one stun. Yup, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Can you get the body block, though? Can you get the body block? No, she can't. She can't get it. Nope. That's so awkward. She's out of flute. And, yep. Nyad knows that. That's a chair. She harassed as much as possible. Who comes in now? Female dancer. You know what? Female dancer does here. Did you just pick up your box it? No, she's going to focus on decoding. Okay. I guess it's going to have to be... Oh, it's got to be Antiquarian, actually. It's got to be Antiquarian. But she's watering... She's going to go water... She's watering off Antiquarian here. She wanted off Antiquarian. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's stuck. She's stuck. It's over. She's stuck. They have to sell. Oh my gosh. They have to sell. No way. Oh my gosh. They all have to make it out or they lose. They all have to. And now you can chase the Wildling. Dude, the Wildling has to have like a godlike kite here, bro. You've got it. You can't. Yeah, you, you can't go on the board yet. You have to save that board as much as possible. But she has Blink. Oh, she has Blink, though. And the Cyphers are not yet ready. Yo, you got to get on that board. you got to get on that board, bro. you got to get on that board. No, 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 no. What? She didn't Blink? She d oh, there's the boar. Okay, there's the boar. All right, it's boar time. All right, use the dash. Use the dash. 
Doesn't get watered off, gets hit on the board. Yup, that's one. This is not good, bro. This is not good. Oh my gosh. I think I think the fish is gonna take this, bro. I think the fish is gonna take this. He's gonna water off. No? Okay, he's he's out of the range. He's out of the range of the water. Wait, yup, he's not gonna get watered off. Yup, but he's gonna go down still. Yup. Alright. This isn't looking good, dude. This is not looking good. I think it's over. I think this is... There's no way, right? There's. They need a miracle. She has, she's saving her blink to just guarantee the draw, dude. She is saving that blink just to guarantee that draw. Because that's all she needs. She just needs a draw and they win, I'm pretty sure. Female Dancer's got stuff set up. Here she comes. But the, cy the Cypher is actually primed, though. It's going to take a miracle. It's going to take a miracle, dude. It really is. Gets a hit. Gets the hit. Yup, yup. Okay. All right. Get on the boar. Yup, get on that boar. But she's got she's got detention, so it goes boop. And then you blink down. She misses the blink. Oh my gosh, they need this. They, she missed the blink. She got too greedy. The slow box is here. Is it going to be enough? No, he's going to get hit. Wildling slow. He's too slow. No, that's it. He's too slow. They have nothing to rescue with. They've got nothing. No way she pushes for more, right? Oh my gosh. No, just take that. You just need the draw to win. That's all you need. You won. She won. That's it. She just won. That is it. That is indeed it, everybody. No way. They're going for it. They have to. But she has detention. How do you do this? She's going to water off and then just go again? But. They have to. That, that's, they literally have to. She has to get a chair hit something. But it's Naya. She has good camping. She's going for the gates? What? Wait, it's a crate this year. But the detention. What is, what is the game plan, guys? It's detention. You can't. There's nothing they can do. They can't do anything. They can heal. There's nothing, dude. They would actually need a freaking miracle. Gonna get watered off. Gonna go down now. What? How? There's no way. This is his last chair. By doing this, they just won. That's his last chair. Yup. Wolves have just now won. They are the winners of IVL. This extremely long tournament. <laughs> and she's gonna push for more. Nope. She's gonna push for more, dude. She wants everything. This fish is here, dude. Guess who won IVL, guys? Guess who won? The fish! The fish! <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. The fish is too good. You gotta nerf the fish. It's so over. It's so over, bro. It's so over, dude. Nope. It's it's so over. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. What can they even do, man? Did she give up? Or is she just waiting to get out of Slipstream? They're just playing now. Oh, what's even the point? Oh. Oh. Nope. The fish won't give you the tie. It's the fish. Nope. It's the fish. It's Aquarian can get out now. Bro. It's over. It is so over. It is so freaking over, dude. What the heck? <laughs> she made a heart with the water? No way. No way. They're, they made a heart with the water. She's popping off. She is popping off. Oh, there's nothing that they can do, bro. There is nothing that they can do. It's over. She's drawing hearts now, dude. That's how That's how you know it's over. All right. Well, there we go. Yeah, rush the crowd. The fish won. Yeah, guys, the fish. Give it up for the fish. And wolves as well. But the fish. <laughs> I'm just joking. They played really, really well. They played really I love to meme on the fish, but they played really, really well, dude. Good work to wolves. Good work to them, dude. They did well. Fish is broken, bro. <laughs> nerf the fish. I think I think that's what we could take away from this, that we have to nerf the fish. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> just joking. <sighs> oh, good work, guys. Yeah, look at them cheer. They did it. They're crazy, bro. Yeah, hold up that trophy. Yippee. They did it with the power of the fish. I can't do that. That, that. I'm just thinking about the last match. The mercenary dungeon escape was so insanely clutch. That was that was it, dude. That was the play that actually won it. I think one that I think because Nia definitely was probably gonna get a draw there if they weren't like so focused on a. Uh... So that was like that was literally a draw build too. Insolence and blink, no no teleport. That was 100% a draw build, because that's all they needed, bro. That's all they needed. No way, guys. Look at that. It's that fish that just won a tournament. No way. Wow, is no one here? Am I really gonna be the only one dancing? That's sad. All right, well, I guess I'm dancing alone. Either way, that's it, dude. Those are some beautiful matches. Actual beautiful matches. You'll get out of my way. I can't see you. <laughs> All right, I guess we're dancing together. Yeah, yo, that's it, bro. Oh, Mercenary just died. Anyways, yeah, we. That was. Uh, that's the end of IVL, guys. That is the end of the IVL tournament. They did really freaking well, dude. They did really, really well. That was some beautiful games. So some of the greatest games I think I've ever seen. Very, very good games. But yeah, that'll be it for me. I guess I'll see you all later, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Stop throwing snowballs at me, you fish!